Hi, I'm Karen Williams, and I'm an instructor at the Aroma Head Institute. This blend is called the Fragonia Solid Uplifting Perfume. The directions are very easy to making a solid perfume. Our recipe calls for 0.5 ounces of beeswax, and if it's a solid carrier, I like to use my measuring scale. I'll turn it on, and in my measuring cup, I will add 0.5 ounce of beeswax. Make sure you tear it if you put your container on after turning on your weight scales. These are very easy to use beeswax pellets. 0.5 ounce. What we will do with our beeswax before we do anything else is use the double boiler method on the stovetop. As you can see back here on my stovetop, I have a pot of water that's about two inches of water in my pot. And I'm going to put my glass container right in the water so that it can gently heat and melt the beeswax. Just put it right in there and I'll turn the heat up just a little bit. And it doesn't take long to melt. The recipe calls for 2.5 ounces of jojoba oil or 75 mils. So this has 100 mils on it, so I will add 75 mils of the jojoba oil. I like to have it all ready to go because once the beeswax melts, I like to work quickly to get it into its containers before it starts to set up. So 75 mils or 2.5 ounces. And we'll just set this aside until our beeswax is almost melted and then we'll add it to the beeswax. Next, we'll add our essential oils together so that it's ready to add to our melted beeswax. So the first oil that we're putting in is Fragonia, 20 drops of Fragonia. Fragonia is deeply relaxing and it's restorative to our emotional system. This essential oil works on a very deep level to help unblock emotional energy and to get a creative and a positive energetic flow moving again. Our next oil is the new oil I was telling you about, which is pinion pine. We'll put 20 drops of pinion pine in. And pinion pine is piney, sweet, and woody with a really breath-opening, camphoraceous aspect. And emotionally, pinion pine is noted for its restorative properties. It's inspiring, it's motivated, and it's really great for when you're feeling fatigued. It's also great for supporting the respiratory system and easing painful situations, whether physically or emotionally. Our next oil is 15 drops of patchouli. And before we add our patchouli, I'm going to take a quick look and do a little stir with my glass stir rod with my beeswax. In fact, it's already starting to melt. You want to make sure that the water is not boiling so hard that the water goes into the beeswax. So we keep it about an inch or two um, up on the container. So our next essential oil, we've put in 20 drops of Fragonia, 20 drops of the beautiful pinion pine, and now 15 drops of patchouli. The rich green leaves of the bushy Pastagoman cablin herb creates a very sweet, peppery, earthy, herbaceous, and a slightly balsamic essential oil. I like to add patchouli to my emotional blends because it's so grounding and so opening for the mind and the heart. So it is an uplifting and an exquisite oil to use during times of situational, emotional unease. You can see why I like to do my oils, mix them up ahead of time, because sometimes it takes a while, especially when you have a thicker oil like patchouli. So now we have our essential oils. We have our jojoba oil. We'll set our weight scales off to the side. We'll set our essential oils off to the side. And we'll get our tins ready so that we can pour our 
jojoba and beeswax and essential oils right into the tins as soon as we have it blended together. Now we have our melted beeswax, just a tiny little bit that's not stirred. And when I add my jojoba oil, I might have to put it back in the hot water bath for just a minute. Sometimes the beeswax is hot enough to melt the jojoba oil. And remember that your glass might be really hot, so it's good to use a pot holder. So you can see that we're just starting to melt the jojoba. Even though it's liquid, when the cold jojoba hits the hot beeswax, it will solidify a little bit. So I will just take this and set it back in my hot water bath just for a moment. You'll want to keep a towel handy so that you can wipe off the water so that it doesn't drip into your tins. I'll give it a little bit of a stir to blend in the very few last unmelted pieces. And now, since I have my essential oils ready to go, I simply add them into my mixture. There we go. Isn't this easy? Mmm, oh, it smells so wonderful. I love this. Okay, at this point, take your pot holder and then pour into your one ounce tins or you can also use a glass container or a pet plastic container. There we go. Pour them in, dividing it evenly. A little bit more on this one. I put the tops on right away so that the essential oils don't evaporate. And I'm careful that I just leave them in a place where they can have plenty of time to solidify. Typically a few hours. And there you have it. So once it has solidified, I just take it and I put it on my wrists, put it on below my ears, on my neck area. Um, and it has such a calming effect. So just enjoy that with the added benefits of opening up your breathing. And what's cool about this is that it makes three one ounce tins. So you can keep one for yourself and give two away to your friends. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.